I want to use this system to demonstrate extended period simulation. Uh, this is the demo EPS file, which would be in your demo subdirectory. If we look at the uh, system data, uh, the additional extended period simulation data, you have to check this box, enter the total time and the computational period. Uh, this other data is optional power cost if you want to do a power cost calculation. Uh, the normal or uh, baseline data for demands are shown here. For example, the demand here is 21 gallons per minute. This is the, like the average daily demand. This is 60. In extended period simulation, we normally will put in a demand pattern which will vary these demands hour by hour uh, based on the usage. Uh, this is done under setups and defaults demand patterns and we can see that at time zero which is in the like midnight or 1 a.m. it's uh, only 33 percent of normal demand and uh, this will increase as we go through the day uh, up to uh, some maximum values in the late evening hours of uh, 1.75. Uh, this pattern is uh, pretty much the one suggested by the American Water Works uh, for residential systems. So uh, we put in the EPS data. We uh, put in some demand patterns normally in EPS. Uh, another uh, feature here is that this pump will be controlled by the water level in one of these tanks, in this case tank 1. Uh, when the water level goes below a certain value, the pump will come on, and when it goes above a certain value, it will go off. This is set up under other data, control switches, and here's a setup. The pump is on when the tank goes below 737 and it's off when it gets above 753. So that's the control switch data that's often used for extended period simulation. So now we can run the analysis and the analysis has been run and when we're done we'll have a report which will have a, a 24 hours. There's a lot of information in here. If we go all the way down to the end of it, we'll see a summary of the maximum minimum pressures which is useful. Uh, and uh, there's a, a lot of additional information and one of the better ways to look at the results is through plots and tables and uh, we can for example select a node and we'll see a plot over here of the pressure versus time if we're in group mode we can select several nodes and then take a look at this here's the pressure at these points going up above 60 down below 50. Uh, this is during the peak demand period and then back up again. Uh, we also have tables that we can look at uh, and uh, we can select any number of nodes and look at the tables. Uh, as we scroll through the tables we'll see the maximum minimum pressures. So uh, there's some additional tools here that are useful for extended period simulations. Of course we can do the profiles, uh, we can do the uh, contours, all the uh, devices that we have for looking at results.